He says the recent disturbances uh, that rocked the NPP headquarters were simply self-inflicted by enemies within. <laughs> but may I ask what exactly Paula Foko and uh, Kwabna Ejapon sought to achieve with their press conference? Abubakari Lukman says the national executive must run the party in consultation with the larger stakeholders within the party and not in a way that suggests a private enterprise or entity. 2016 is of the essence and we must put, uh, we must remain focused in order to wrestle power from the captain of the sinking ship. Let's be responsible in opposition. Atai Moro in Wellensi says the internal wrangling in the NPP is normal in a party with such a large following and cannot be described as a party in crisis. I however pray that it does not escalate further. I see us coming together more united after the presidential primaries for a resounding victory in 2016. Uh, Oliver Bamba in Salega. Right, clearly the NPP is not ready to capture power from the NDC, considering what uh, happened at the party's headquarters. The leadership of the NPP should rise up before the party runs into an abyss. Good morning to you, uh, Abdul Malik uh, Kwekubako. Alex uh, Otopa says, I was appointed as a director of communications for Tescom, K Poly chapter in 2011. My appointment was deliberated on and approved by all seven executives who had been elected. So you see, even at the level of the party structure, at this level of the party structure, there is some level of consultation and deliberation over appointment of persons to key party positions. Kwabna E. Japong should have known better. Spike in Ohio says something. What the NPP is doing now is a monstrous betrayal of, uh, of its numerous followers. This is the least Ghanaians are expecting from a government in waiting. They have armed the NDC with bullets and guns to shoot at them come 2016. All those involved in this disgrace should bow their heads in shame. Baba Adam in Stuttgart, Germany says, I think what happened at the NPP headquarters was unfortunate and regrettable. And at a time where Ghana is being described as a sinking ship, we only need a united front and not a party in crisis to provide an alternative. Edward in Nungwa says, um, I have been uh, boasting for the past 18 years as belonging to a party which believes in the tenets of true democracy. But what happened at the party's headquarters is criminal, to say the least, and above all, uncharacteristic of my fellow party members. You're speaking like uh, President Kufo. Mm -hmm. It says, our energies should be channeled into how to capture power in 2016. Zion in says, what is happening in the NPP will not help the party in the 2016 election. We need a united front to be able to kick the NDC out of power because Ghanaians have lost faith in the John Mahama administration. Razak in Zebila says unity in the NPP is key for victory 2016. What happened at the NPP headquarters should never happen again. Um, Edinam in Dan Soman says, I am disappointed in the NPP. If you can't solve your party's challenges, how can you solve the challenges of our country? They should act with maturity. Bonti Benjamin Echimebuakwa says, The NPP leadership should realize that jaw jaw is better than war war. Again, speaking like President Kufo. And he says, they must, you know, do everything to win. Uh, sorry, I can't continue with uh, your messages again. Um, we'll take some time and then later try to con uh, read a lot more of the text messages. And, and, and Fred, see, in the course of the week, you listen to MPP supporters, passionate, weeping within themselves at what has happened. Um, the point now we are moving to is the release of the results, supposed results, of an election that has already taken place in the UK. And in that election, uh, Nanado 
is supposed to have garnered how many votes as against all the other contestants and they are the other uh, persons in the party who say this must not be allowed to continue. It is so wrong. Now, this is the result. We are told that the election was held on the 21st of August and Nanado had 92%. Alan Tremating had 8%. Um, that was in London. In Manchester, uh, Nanado, uh, and then, okay, in, let me read the one. In Leeds, Nanado had 85%. Alan Tremating had 14%. In Milton Keynes, uh, Nanado had 95%. Asamoah Boateng had 5%. Uh, Midlands, Nanado had 99%, and the other candidates got <coughs> zero. And if you listen to the secretary of that branch who spoke to the press, that is John Kisi, he just simply said, the rest of the candidates must forget it because it's done. Is this a fair game? Thank you. I... Ahead of the Congress. <laughs> I think this brings into the broader it plays into the broader question of discipline within the party the national council of the party which is the highest decision making body of the party after national conference a national conference meets only once a year for the annual national de delegates conference and so presumably on a day to day basis the body that you can easily convene to take a decision is the National Council. Came out with guidelines which was very clear on how uh, this year's party's uh, presidential primaries was going to be held. And among other things, it stipulated that persons who have been elected <coughs> to lead groups or appointed to lead groups within the party should not at any point in time make any public pronouncements of where their leanings are with regards to who they support in this particular contest. I have listened closely to the chairman, the general secretary, members of NEG council, and one of the major objectives they have set themselves is to ensure that the players in this year's flag bearership contest, by the time the exercise is through, would feel that they had a level playing field and would not feel, feel any, um, they, they would not have any sense that somebody um, used some machinations to outplay them. And so this is a very uh, key uh, point. Now, when you have such a thing come out, first of all, uh, I am not there in uh, the UK. I don't know the modalities that govern this. I don't know how the elections were carried out. However, these results have been put out here. It does two things. And together with all these other, um, in quotes, declarations that have been happening, it does two things. If and when you go ahead and have the presidential primary and the results turn out to be different from what the minds of the public and the rank and file have been programmed to be like, then clearly people are going to start looking for reasons to say that it must have been Mr. X or Mr. Y who has done something else to change the results. Okay. And that is a very dangerous... Yes, I said okay. two minutes and I meant it. Uh, okay. Quickly. Let me let me add yeah. a very important thing. I am in the other side of this. I'm a member of parliament and I heard my deputy leader of parliament flouting this regulation at Manchaguna. What does he expect from me when I come to parliament and he tries to whip me in line to party... Uh, I ask you a direct Issues. question. Is this fair? I am. That's what I'm talking about. Is this that, fair? Is it this is not fair? only unfair. Mm. Okay. It is highly <coughs> against the discipline yeah. that the party seeks to employ. 
You think that when I go back to parliament <laughs> and my deputy leader comes and tells me, knowing that he draws his strength from the National Council, that is which, the body which appointed him. Mm. And the same body says, don't do this, and he does it. Mm. Why should I now listen to my deputy? Right. Kuku, Kuku, we have heard a spokesperson for Alan Chiraman saying, uh, Francis Adainimo, who is also in the race, has also spoken, and Osea Mea, they have unanimously bastardized the poll and say nothing of the sort should be entertained. Um, a former Attorney General and also who is in charge of the constitutional you know, affairs of the, of the party, uh, uh, Sorry, Aiko Otu also says, no, this is wrong. Well, to the extent that uh, there's an apparent violation of the general rules, that, that's the rules and regulations governing the organization and conduct of election of a presidential candidate 2014, the new patriotic party's uh, version. Uh, there is this point about no, and this specific, no national regional constituency, electoral area, polling station, or overseas branch officer shall issue a press statement in support of any candidate to the extent that there is an apparent violation, and I use the word apparent uh, in, on a very cautious <laughs> note. Mm -hmm. uh, because, because yes, yes, but and, and, yeah, that's the first one. And, yeah, but, but here well as the MPs. focus is on the overseas so branch. Just add the MPs for Yes. Okay. Party officers at all levels. As national, well as. regional. No. Here, no MP is mentioned here. Oh, yeah. As well. Uh, as. Uh, That's uh, the uh, one that uh, comes uh, first. Okay. But I was focusing on. On the other. Yes. But yes, the are MPs are mentioned here as well. To that extent, the publication of the results and the declaration that the delegates coming are to vote for a particular okay. aspirant. I think there's an apparent violation of this regulation. But that is what is going on even here, within the Ghanaian jurisdiction, yeah. across board. As far as I'm told, there are also MPs, some MPs who are actually known to be campaigning for other aspirants. It appears that the party's regulation has become virtually unenforceable, and that's very pathetic. But that beside, the results really mean nothing to me. Look. They are coming with three delegates for the special delegates conference, which is August 31st. And then they will come with 12 for the third, October 18th one. So in total, August 13th, they have three votes. Uh, August 31st, they have three votes. October 18th, they have 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 votes. Numerically, Mathematically, it has no impact. Over the 140,000. It has no impact. 144,000. And indeed, it appears that some of the aspirants who are complaining, and I'm not sure all, have not even bothered to lobby some of the overseas branches, even though they know their constitution mandates them to vote. I found that also quite interesting. Okay. But if I were the aspirants, mm. yes, because in the face of the regulations, there's legitimate grounds for complaint. They made their complaint, but they should focus on the campaign that they are doing within the Ghanaian jurisdiction. And if those who have opportunity to contact the overseas branch can also lobby, fair deal. This should not create any serious problems. Already, these regulations is being blatantly violated here within okay. Ghana. Do and the executives have appear, appear to be powerless mm. jo in John, handling that John, do you Why find, cry over this thing? John, do you find well, that this development mm -hmm. will worsen attempts or you know further frustrate attempts or make it difficult to try and build the bridges that no, they are seeking this to, is too minimal it's to a do. very minimal effect it's, it's, it's not minimal uh, you see very as i action. said oh, baby, when baby, somebody baby, is losing baby, elections days, and, and we saw it with the mpp when they lost elections they tried to look for all kinds of excuses uh, pinches were not signed this was not done that was not done went to court and all that what they said was that they are not afraid of losing, but they should lose the election on a level, fair, playing field. And that is very, very important, especially when you are, in a, you are a, a party in opposition. What you want to do is that you go to Congress, come out stronger than before. But as events are unfolding, three candidates, and I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm fan of reading my journal online.
a UK branch election to test the popularity of the seven presidential candidates vying for the flag bearership slot of the MPP has thrown the party further apart. This was not to test popularity. It was to manage. I'm reading the my joy campaign. online. That is misreporting. Fine, let me make, let me build. But there's my no point. place for that. Let me just MPP build my point. Point. No, delegates He's vote me for two minutes. Okay, okay. Sorry. not for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. My time. So every constituency will vote to determine who will become. Okay. Thank you. Go on. No, 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 they are out there. No, you know. It cannot be the case. That's what are we talking about? That's their mode of. The MPP branch in the UK has three votes. Mm. Three. You've nominated three. But the people. special delegates. They come to vote. I mean, the special delegates conference or whatever you choose to call it. They've come. To, they are coming to vote. It's as simple as that. What other election are they conducting there? Yeah. Those who voted in those so-called elections are they delegates? Mm -hmm. Is it only the three people who voted? And out of the three no. people, how did Alan Chamantin get five percent? The members there voted that is it quite to quite elect quite delegates quite to come and vote the way that they want. Is this is very simple. No, 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 no. Kind of delegates don't vote for themselves. You Please, vote for the can team I, you represent. Can I, no? can can I build, yes. can I, you mm. see, what I'm saying is that the core duty was to delegate three people. Come and vote. For us. This is internal matters. You just said that it happened on 21st. 21st was yesterday. Yesterday, as early as 6 a.m., between 6 and 7, Dr. Kennedy, or what is his name? The Kisi. 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 Was on Peace FM narrating the votes. Akufado has gotten 90%. So I asked Kwame to he ask him a question. Questions. Yeah. To ask him, what constitutes the 90% in terms of figures? Because before you come to a conclusion that he had 90%, it should have been a My certain dear. quantum yeah. over the... He subsequently he said he did not have it. Mm. You see, and that's why I said that the political... And yesterday was a day after the, the, the voting. The figures no, were given on Asampai yesterday. Yes, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was 21st. That's, no, yesterday was in second, correct? Yes, Thank so you. Man. A day before. You see, a day before. Mm. You see, what I'm saying is that there's too much political patronage in the MPP. <laughs> what do you stand to gain from what they did? What, what is it about? That... The UK Ireland branch met. They've nominated three people. If you give you a message, come and deliver the message. Why do you want to make publicity out of it? Well, that's a good What do you want to achieve? It's no big deal. Propaganda. What is the essence? You see, and as he said, if your mother is dead and you sit and pretend that your mother is snoring, you're actually enjoying in the evening, this evening, huh? 6.30 <laughs> on the door, <laughs> when those of us whose mothers are alive and kicking, are preparing teaser for us. <laughs> you will go empty stomach, hungry. A word to the wise is enough. If young people want to carry their affairs in this manner, because like it or take it, after elections you ought to build bridges. Yeah. And that is why you have to play the game such that those who lose so you share, share them. You, you share the view you share the view that this is why is it it is supposed to them. Them. you share the view that this is supposed to poison said, the minds or influence it, other voters let me first of all comment the honorable opponent it's minimal let me let me comment the honorable opponent for his candor in condemning this thing outright you see what we are discussing now is at the heart of the problem that the mpp has the uneven playing field the lopsided nature of the, conduct, an even playing of the conduct of people <laughs> who ought to know better. No, no, because what happened in the UK Ireland branch, as far as I know, has no place in the constitutional arrangements of the MPP. Which one? Because you cannot legislate that the people of Okan North, who belong to the MPP, who will be delegates, should be a certain mandate from the Constitution. Met. So you hold and directly elections the delegates. <laughs> in order to determine who they should vote for. Otherwise, there's no basis for the... Perhaps I should go to oh, the woman. Absolutely. Let's say that and ask them to vote for Alan Chamantin. So for me, it poisons... It poisons the atmosphere. But the MPs, you are saying often that my people tell me to vote for the They are wrong. That's what they mean. They are wrong. Most MPs are saying. They are wrong. Let me make the point. You consult. Yes, you consult. But Samson, you can't announce it. Samson, let me know. Thank you. Yes, so that is the point. Let me make the point. That is what we are saying. What did they say? Sorry, sorry. What did they say? Allow the things to have no finish. Yeah. But it does not happen everywhere else. Okay. Because if it's not going hold to happen in the constituencies here, why should it happen anywhere else? As far as I know, the level is the abode of the The flow must be level for everybody. The rules must be fair. You see, again, the beneficiary of this sort okay, of conduct so, so, so has failed let, let's move, let's move, to show leadership. Let's move forward. It. Let's move that forward. That is what the problem comes If from. this offends the, the party's constitution in any no, way, the regulation, the regulation in any way, what should happen? What should happen to Dr. John Kisi 
Is that the name? Well, he should be sanctioned. But I doubt whether he, he is not the only one who has no confidence in the national council. Uh, Kweku said he's not the only one. He's not the only one. You see, there are national council. quite a number of guilty parties. Okay. Okay. I am looking to see what majority of what the guilty of the same party. You see, instructively, you see, instructively, point out the danger. Yes, the presidential primary is not the only. Event, event that ahead happen. of us. Absolutely. We are going to have 275 constituency elections. Constituency primaries. Yeah. Mm. Now, if at this point you put out some guidelines, a regulation, and it's been supposed to guide the presidential primary and it's not being respected, me, I'm going to contest for the 2016 uh, parliamentary mm -hmm. seat. Do you want me to begin to Respect the guidelines the council yeah. will put out. Thank okay, while thank somebody, you. let me tell you, I'm, I'm coming. Thank you. In thank 2000, you. I'm giving you a very important. Is it in conclusion? In 2011, <laughs> when we went for our primary, the information that we had was that mm. when people had been asked to pay 16,000 CDs, some people actually did not pay, and yet are sitting in parliament today. Okay. So all these things, the bottom line is that it doesn't help voice the kind of thank unity you. Thank, that thank, we seek to thank, build thank in you, Fred. In yep. the end, mm -hmm. you, have, you have demonstrated that you are not an alternative to the NDC. Because okay, you cannot you have even respect uh, your own guidelines. Simple 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 guidelines. Thank your you own guidelines. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But the sorry. conclusion you have sorry, sorry. Sorry. You, that you respect the constitution you, and that loss the of the The conclusion is that the national constitution of the no, we are respecting it. We are only an hour going.